So we didn't quit at one. We are, at the very least, doing two, unless the recording on this gets screwed up, in which case we're back to one. No, it's just last episode. Last episode, which we'll eventually find. Episode two of Isaac Six Hearts Cinema. We have the same crew that we joined you with last time. Myself, Scott Henson, over there, a certain Drew Sarian, and to my left, your right, what's the name? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Summers. <laughs> we, uh, earlier today, we had both uh, friends of the show, Justin Chu and Daniel Finnack, in this very room. But they are fat fucks. I was just going to say they left, but whatever makes you happy. That makes me happy. Calling them fat fucks makes me happy. Okay. So, if you like last time, you probably won't like this time. <laughs> it's just going to be the same thing. Yeah. And if you didn't like last time, you are going to hate it. Well, there is one guarantee that there will be less chud talk on this one. There will be less talk of chud. Also, it's going to be shorter. Last time we went an hour 55. We were having fun. We were having fun. I, you know what? It was a sleepover. It's summer party. It was a summer party. Considering it went an hour 55, I think it went okay. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was fun. I wish the audio quality was better. Hopefully, this audio quality is better. And if it is great, if not, we'll continue to tweak until we get it to a point where we like it. But anyway, enough of that intro bullshit. Uh, what do we What do we have to talk about? Who's uh, Who's doing what lately? Sure. I I saw seeking a friend for the end of the world. You described it, and now okay. Before you say what, uh, what you uh, told me about it. Um, from the preview, it looked... I, I wanted to see it from the preview. Like, it looked like a good comedy. I knew there would be some, obviously, end-of-world stuff, but I, it seemed like that took a... From the trailer, it seemed like it took a backseat to the comedy. But was that actually the case, or...? Yeah. Uh, the, like, you see, like, a Steve Crow movie, you expect it to be, you know goofy and funny and, you know, a little bit of romance, a little bit of drama thrown in, but, yeah, it was definitely not what I, at all what I expected it to be in a full-length movie, because, you, like, there's a definition of rom-com, romantic comedies, but this was what I call a rom-com drum, because <laughs> the, the first half legitimately was a comedy, like, Everything was funny in the first half. There's Which like, I guess, and that's everything that's in the trailer. A lot, and everything that you see in the trailer is in the first half of the movie. Yeah. And there's like, you know, they've got like this, the typical comedy movies where they have cameos and they have uh, like, you know, just ridiculous things happening. But then like at the halfway mark, it just becomes like this like dramatic cry fest. And, like, everything gets real serious and emotional, and then it's got, like, like um, people dealing with their past and, and, uh, and dealing with what's, ha- what's going to happen. And, and then, uh, like, I don't know, yeah, it, it, like, it was good. It, like, even the dramatic part was good just because you don't expect it to be, yeah. like, a dramatic movie. So when it changes, you're, like, almost, like, I, I almost sat there, like, oh, it's, it's gonna be like this the rest of the film, but like Steve Carell was good, especially like at, at once. Like I mean, his obviously the comedic stuff in it was it's similar to every other like movie he was in. It was there was a lot of like date night thing like similar to that. Mm-hmm. But like his his serious acting in that movie was actually not that bad at all, especially considering he hasn't really done like a ton of it. I don't really think Kieran Knightley was that good, but I don't really. Oh, he, he, did, he did Dan in real life. He's pretty good. In that. Yeah, that was that. And he was good in uh, Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he does that kind of stuff. I, same as uh, same as Jim Carrey. I like Jim Carrey in a lot of dramatic stuff too, like uh, Kind of Sunshine. Uh, kind of Sunshine and uh, uh, Truman Show. Truman Show. I think he's great. Yeah, really good. Yeah, but yeah, no, it was good. And like, it had like, I think the part that I enjoyed the most was because I I knew that a bunch of people I liked were in it. Yeah, yeah, looking at, like, the, the secondary characters, it's just a bunch of comedians. We like, like Hoobel and Rob Corddry and Amy Schumer. Did Oswald have it? Pat and Oswald. And Pat, Pat was really funny in it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, Denver! DJ Miller. DJ Miller. And, uh, and, and I want to say, um, 
Oh, God, what the hell's her last name? Julia Jacobs, but apparently her name is pronounced Gillian. Gillian yeah. Jacobs. Fuck that shit. Which is... But spelled Gillian? Oh, it's with a G. Oh. So we can, I can only assume that her parents were huge Monty Python fans, and they wanted a boy. Uh. <laughs> so they said <laughs> Gillian. Was it spelled Gillian wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's her name. <laughs> that's all I can think of. And still made her pronounce it stupid. <laughs> That is a stretch, but I'm not ruling it. That would be the only possible one, because nobody, nobody who loves their daughter names her that. <laughs> no one who loves their daughter makes her name start with G-I and pronounce the G hard. <laughs> Forget it. Uh, yeah. I, What's your name? Gina. <laughs> Gina. Gennifer. <laughs> Gina Gershon. <laughs> yeah. There, there, yeah. There, was, there was one really funny... Non spoilery cameo by uh, um, uh, William Peterson. Um, wait, William Peterson? He's I? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's right. The, 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 the main guy from CSI. The CSI guy that wasn't Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. Uh, I guess yeah, he, he's got a really funny cameo in it, a really good cameo in it. Yeah. So. I think it's William Peterson. I think it's William Peterson. Yeah. But, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was good. And I totally missed whenever CSI transitioned from Fishburne to Ted Danson. When did that happen? That happened? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it did happen. I don't know what the fuck. Well, apparently I'd be you to it. But I, well, I, you know what? I watched the first, like, maybe three seasons of CSI and then lost. Like, it's, it, it, it's going out of your way to watch a show for that you that every episode is very similar. Yeah. You know, I mean, other than, like, the cool things that happen in it, but, like, Tracking down what happened, like, yeah, I, I can only watch it for so long. Like, there's a reason we call them procedurals, because, but... Fucking procedure to watch the show. Ted got tired of dealing with Norm, and then he realized that House is the better doctor. So he's <laughs> yeah. Like, what else can I do? Does that, yeah, should should every episode of House say special thanks to Becker? Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's kind of. You stole my bitch! <laughs> kind of the same character. The Lighty Fox stole my bitch! <laughs> And somehow does a better American accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like you already. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's good stuff. I wish he, uh, I'm glad that, well, I'm the house is over. Maybe he'll do more movie roles because he's only done. Yeah, yeah, he's only done I had some American movie roles. Yeah. He did, a, he did a shit ton of British stuff. I only know him in an American role as, uh, Stuart Little. Stuart Little. I think Light of the Phoenix. Light of the Phoenix. He did Street Kings with Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Uh, he did a boy yeah. Valiant. That's your Lewis from the Disney animated movie. Well, I mean, like, real life. Okay, well, then he, yeah, he doesn't do not it. Is but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I love people whose first, uh, first contact with Hugh Laurie is House, and then they hear him outside of House, and they're like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, so it's that silly accent. Dude's very British, and pretty much only did comedies before this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Stephen Fry or Fry are butt buddies, so... Stephen Fry more than he'll <laughs> yeah. Well, in the more, uh... Literal. <laughs> the PC way of saying butt buddies. <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, Stephen Fry hasn't done much movie. He does tons... Tons of TV. He has got like an American travel show, which I'm sure someone from the UK will uh, tell me about. Oh, yeah, the UK. <laughs> he did the voice of the Cheshire Cat in uh, Alpha One. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I yeah. know Yuck. Yeah. Tim Burton. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can we, did, we didn't, did we talk about Tim Burton last time? If we didn't, we should. I don't think we did last time. Okay. We, <laughs> we agree that Tim Burton sucks. Tim Burton is fucking awful. <laughs> and, and not only is he awful, he is the worst human being to look at that isn't John C. Riley. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the stupidest hair. The a big old mongoloid face. Him and the Helena Bottom are fucking made for each other. Yeah, they're both gross. gross. Yeah, she is very gross. Very gross. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we were trying to figure out... Uh, uh, well, I think if you don't think about it, you're like, oh, it's Tim Burton. He's a good director. But well, then you, like, <laughs> analyze it, and you're like, wait, that movie sucks, that movie's like that movie. Yeah. And we're like... Do we like anything by Tim Burton? And th- there's there are a couple, but the the bad outweigh the good by a pretty strong margin. And, like, and you know what? I went back and watched it. I think last Halloween, uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas doesn't. I don't remember it. Like I remember it holding up quite well, but 
But after watching it recently, eh, not so much anymore. I haven't seen it. And, yeah, I also never saw it. Oh, so I was <laughs> talking to myself like an asshole. That, is, that of course, but I never had any intention of seeing it. Yeah, well, I'm talking about movies that only you see. It's, yeah. not, it's not against the rules. You just won't get a ton of, like, feedback on it. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I... Of course, Ryan Wilson. Yeah, it's whatever. just a garbage. There's <laughs> very few ones that are good. We agree with, like, Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands, awesome. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow is good. I'm going to go with Sleepy Hollow. Hollow. Um, Batman's 1 and 2? Uh, yeah. I, Batman Returns is pretty good. Batman Returns yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that's all... Oh, no, wait. I was going to say something about Batman Returns as star rating, but... I won't. Never mind. It's 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 Lemon Long game related, so I can't say anything. Okay. okay. <laughs> um and yeah, and then Scott and I watched a fantastic movie today and somebody saw the last like half an hour of it. Watched <laughs> the Michael Crichton classic Congo. Congo. I was saying Michael uh Michael Crichton books made in the movies, hit and miss. This my friends was a mess. <laughs> For You're telling me that you rate this lower than Jurassic Park. I would put this just slightly lower than Jurassic Park. Did he rate Outbreak as well? Uh, yeah, I want to say yes. I feel like he did. So it's not even the best monkey movie he wrote. No. No, this that, would take a, a distant second. That is a poor batting that's average. An indict, that's an indictment of this movie. If, it, if a movie isn't the best monkey movie he wrote... You're you're doing it wrong. And we agree it's the best monkey movie made where they are shot with lasers. <laughs> yes, to some battles. Well, well, I have and lava. And lava. Okay, yes. Best movie of monkeys being eaten alive by lava, for sure. Uh, lasers, I have to check out. To be, to be clear, best movie by Michael Crichton with monkeys being shot with lasers and lava. Not the best overall, because I'm sure there's better ones out there. lasers in Outbreak? I don't remember. <laughs> No, but that's what that's what this is the best Michael Crichton one for that. But I'm sure there's like a Roman Polanski <laughs> <laughs> monkey being shot by lasers and engulfed in lava that's way better than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Or a Francis Ford Coppola one, maybe. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, it's the best Crichton one that that's that uh, that Crichton period, if you will. <laughs> I hate myself for that. And, you. Yeah, you're, you're a terrible I, person. I, the second I said it, I felt bad. <laughs> but here we are. We were. I you're saying too, like watching it because. Uh, at one point, when they get to, uh, I don't know, one of those Chad, Central African Republic, some just democratic just from Nigeria, that's a lot of places. Whatever country it is, I don't know. Just, and, and it's an African nation. It's countries that don't exist anymore, like Zaire and Southern Rhodesia. I don't think they mentioned Southern Rhodesia. I think that was gone a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, so at one point, when they get into the country, they meet the the political military guy who's in charge, played by Delroy Lindo. Who is Lindo! He just run in. Okay, no, we're not doing the wrong Um And Delroy, born in America, raised in America, but because he's black, get the second African get warlord. The second African warlord, and I said, which is a right granted to all black people. <laughs> From the ruling in Brown versus Board of Education. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since the Civil Rights Movement, black people have been allowed, if not required, <laughs> to play an African warlord at some point all, in their all, uh, all blackers are uh, required at some point in their career to play an African warlord, drug dealer, yep. and, and or militia leader. Absolutely. Now, this is the 90s, though, so typecasting was, and stereotypes were pretty... Oh, so, yeah, it is. Of course. You, were, you were allowed to do whatever you wanted. Yeah, and this movie, I think, is 1995? 95, yeah. It's one of those movies that's made, you know, a little while ago, but looks like it was made even longer ago. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, <laughs> <laughs> like, the graphics are, like, fuzzy for some reason. <laughs> the best part was the menu. <laughs> oh, yeah, the DVD menu. We, we postulated that this might have been the first DVD <laughs> made. Because, like, there's, like, no... Nothing goes on before the main DVD screen, and the main DVD screen is just like a spill with a four-bar menu, like no video, no sound. I don't think those technologies were invented yet for DVD. <laughs> no, no, we see them. Yeah, so yeah, it was one of those movies which I I always find delightful. I remember seeing one on 
on TV with uh, a friend of the show, Christopher Lambert, actually. Christopher Lambert. And what, by, by with Christopher Lambert, I mean, he was sitting beside me watching the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so he was in the movie, in, and it was, you know, some kung fu thing. Not on your four. Something. And the search for Spock. We, I was with a couple of people, and we had no idea what the movie was. Uh, off the top of my head, I think it's called The Hunted. Well, I think I remember what the I, one. Yeah. And we're trying to figure out when it's from, like, based on the title graphics and, <laughs> and, and what the video looked like. And we all kind of figured, like, 1983 or yeah. 4. And it was, like, 96. It was, after, <laughs> it was after Mortal Kombat. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking up on the phone right now. Yeah, I think it's 100. I got it in my head that that's, uh, I like that's right. That that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, any yeah. word from the internet? Well, we'll get on it. Well, what, what I was looking, I think an even better part of what I said was, I like reading, like, you know, or, or like watching movies and then hearing character names and questioning how when people write scripts or screenplays what? come up with the weirdest names what for characters. What can land on that? So... Not really bad guy, just annoying guy in the yeah, movie. He, he, had, he had ulterior motives. Yeah, but, like, he wasn't evil. Interruption. <laughs> Interruption. The Hunted was the movie. Excellent. 95, the same year. Same year as Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. It, was, it was, like, it came out after Mortal Kombat. And, no, it uh, came out before Mortal Kombat. Oh, just before. It was yeah. directly before. Okay, yeah, so same year as Mortal Kombat, so... And yeah, it, and it really didn't look like it. Those, those listening out there, go Netflix. I'm sure it's not on Netflix. I don't know. Netflix. The if, if you're in America yeah. and you're listening to this, you should take a look. If you're in Canada and you're listening don't to this, don't bother. You're, you're not going to There's it. roughly four movies. Go, go, go watch season one of Deadliest Cats. That's all you That's have. That's all there is. Just watch it over and over and hope that something different happens the next time you watch it. Hope the catch is deadlier. I don't know a lot about the show, so I can't make a look at my record. The... Last time I saw Christopher Lambert was in the latest Ghost Rider, where he was dressed as Jinsei Zaki. That's true. What were we? Oh, character names. Oh, so, yeah, uh, yeah. so Tim Curry in Congo uh, is always introduced himself, uh, formerly of Romania. So I don't know if, in the reality of this movie, that Romania has dissolved into eight countries like Yugoslavia did or something, mm-hmm. or if he's just like a man without a country now. He's formerly of Romania, currently of nothing. I think that's <laughs> what it is. I, I guess. guess he's implying that Romania is maybe, maybe he got kicked out of Romania and they don't want him, but he's acting like he quit first. I, I, I guess. Yeah, it was a, it was a you can't quit, you're fired situation. And uh, he uh, and he also mentioned that he travels around the world doing good. <laughs> doing good. And uh, the best thing about him <laughs> is his name. Uh, first name was H E R C E R K E R H E R K E R N E R Herkimer. Herkimer. Uh, last name Homoko. Homoka. L K O. Uh, Homo L K O. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed that. Drew enjoyed that. Kind of enjoyed that. Um, but his first name Herkimer. Uh, I couldn't the entire movie, and since the movie's been over and into now, I can't stop saying, Ermagerd, it's Herkimer. I can't <laughs> stop saying I may never stop saying it. Oh, Herkimer, That's another thing that's going to be in my head until I'm not breathing. <laughs> yeah, so this is the profound effect that Congo has had on my life. Also, I, uh, two seconds into the movie, the first scene of the movie, I turned to Drew and I'm like, oh, you didn't tell me there were going to be black people in this movie. <laughs> Jokingly. And then I thought, who, <laughs> I love the guy who goes to see a movie called Congo and then is mad there are black people in it. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> this guy is a is good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> uh, well, you do have this part without racism. No, that was 20, 20 minutes without me. That was hypothetical racism. That wasn't me. Although I, I, I did myself say you didn't come to any, any black people. Well, that was was that. Both of you. That was, was me playing a character. We, al- we also didn't mention what I said after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't get into that on, uh, right now. But, Jesus. 
Well, that didn't remind me of something when I saw the movie on Friday. I saw Ted on Friday, and um, there, because I saw it with, with previously mentioned Dan. Uh, oh, no, boo. He would, get, yeah. he would get cheered if he was here. But that he gets is, food because he, he is he, a band of us. He chose a Venga Boys concert over us. Uh, whatever, whatever, boom, watch your mom. Whatever band Dan listens to that only Dan and five other people know. Shoebox Diaries. Is that Red nope. Shoe Diaries? No, it's a... I know we're getting off topic here. <laughs> no, that's that's the name of a band that Wade made up that Dan would listen to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a whole list. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, anyway, sorry. Anyway, okay. Um, okay. And he was, and he was saying, he was like, I bet there's going to be at least one guy who goes and see this movie and hears Ted Talk and go, oh, that guy sounds like Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> which I responded with, it's like the guy who goes to a theater and goes and sees 101 Dalmatians and says, wow, there's got to be like 50 dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's good. Um, <laughs> Although there wasn't anyone who said that, which I was kind of surprised. But um, if the guy we saw Moon Race Kingdom with was there, he, he would have said that probably. Um, I don't know. Was he smart enough? You know what? I <laughs> thought I thought of another asshole movie moment when uh, there was more. How did we not cover them all last time? We went and saw Zombieland. There was those guys sitting up front who were friends but wanted to fight each other. They, oh, yes. the they got into it. <laughs> they <laughs> got friendship dissolved in the course of that movie. And, but then, like, kind of meld back together at the end. Yeah, no, kind of beautiful. Yeah, like, they had their own movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was more exciting than Zombie. <laughs> um, also, so to twists and turns at the, because we went and saw Ted at the new cinema in the New West. And when you buy your tickets there, because now at Silver City, um, you know how when you go to that Ultra VX or whatever, that special yeah. theater? Yeah, they have um, a DJ range seating where you pick your seats. Yeah. At the one in the U.S., you have to do that with every movie. And, and just like the it's regular, just a regular movie. Which is kind all of, assigned seating. All assigned seating, which is weird. It's stupid. Yeah, it makes, um, well, it makes it harder to buy because you've got to have everyone in, yeah. together. Else you, you can't have, have any. You always have one person yeah. buying all the tickets. Um, so... We get there, and, and Dan has a question that makes me kind of wonder if it's ever happened. He says, like, has anyone ever <laughs> come to the movies with the arranged seating? Because, like, some asshole could just come in and sit wherever he wants. Yeah. Um, and if some guy comes in and sees the guy's in the seat, and he goes, hey, you're in my seat. And the guy goes, you want to take this outside? It's <laughs> 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 pretty chuckle, because I, I feel like that has happened at some point. I'm sure, but I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, knowing your luck in movies, uh, I'm going to say sometime in the next two movies you see, it's going to come up Maybe. because you have some luck at movies. I'm trying to think of the next movie I'll be seeing. Batman. Probably not Batman. Like well, two or three weeks. Spider-Man is actually out to this week. I think so. I'm not opposed to seeing Spider-Man, but I don't know if I'd go on that. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it looks all right. It looks fine. It's, like it's, it's better than Tobey Maguire's piece of shit. I like I like that they're doing the lizard, so I'll probably see it. Yeah, yeah I like the lizard. And I, it looks, it's visually a lot better than the first three. Yeah. yeah. That being said, it didn't need to get fucking no. made. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, yeah, it's the same thing that they wanted. They wanted to make it a bigger franchise than it was, and they couldn't do that because the first franchise, even though it made a lot of money, yeah, uh, just it didn't connect to the correct audience. I guess, which is crazy, because, like, Spider-Man 2 and 3 are, like, they're both in, like, the top 25, like, yeah, it's grossing yeah, 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 ever. Yeah. 2 is actually really good. 2 is not bad. I actually enjoy 2. Uh, Doc Ock, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've seen... I'm going to believe it now. I don't think I've seen 2 or 3 all the way through. I've only seen 1. I'm surprised you've seen 1 and not just 3. Well, I wish I could have held out and just seen this new one, because that's typically what I do there you go. with movie series that everyone in the world but me has seen. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good thing I'm on a podcast about movies when I haven't seen any movies. <laughs> For example, Godfather Trilogy. Right? Yeah, the future trilogy. But we need to see Godfather, though. I've never seen it. It's too I've long. It. And, oh, there. Okay, I was going to try and refrain from bringing up any Marlon Brando movies. Uh-oh. Mm. 
I was listening. Kelly did only a visual Marlon Brando impression and didn't make any of it, which is just gorgeous on a podcast. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's so hot in here. <laughs> oh, no, he's forcing his sweat again. I think he got fatter, too. <laughs> or dab him down, dab him beforehand, dab it off. Who is, who is the girl who played his daughter? And I, I don't know. Who's the ball? Who's the ball? I love this. I'm going to love the move. That little kitty ear. <laughs> he, he turns into a cat, doesn't he? That, uh, she starts le- turning a leopard or something. Yeah, she starts turning into one. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the plan. It didn't, it didn't get as far as I would have liked before, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. before everything went to shit. Yeah, yeah. moving. <laughs> Even even through the bulk as a kitty lady, do you want that improvement? But <laughs> it would be better. It would still really depend on the situation. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Always an improvement, though. I've got myself a laser pointer. <laughs> Is it a thing for hours? Did Marlon Brando stand up in that movie? No. <laughs> no. It was 100% <laughs> He was like three. You no, know, he walked. He, he walked. He played the piano. He played the cane and he walked through the He did that. I do remember the cane. And he okay, played yeah. the piano and he got up and walked through the piano. But it was a lot of things. He was pretty sick, I think. Like old and. It was one of the things. Yeah. 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 yeah, that paleness, I don't think, was. Yeah, yeah his last movie was the score. Because that was a yeah. previous category question in. What was the score? Uh, Edward Norton, Robert De Niro, it's like a De bank Niro. robbery thing in, yeah. in Louisiana, or, and he's really, he's only in it for like fifteen minutes, and he is incredibly fast. <laughs> yeah, he he just kept getting bigger and bigger. He definitely Orson Welles bit. Eating <laughs> eating your feelings, <laughs> definitely eating your feelings. But okay, so that being said, can we agree that the Island of Doctor Moreau is better than The Godfather? Yes, yes, a hundred percent, three to three. <laughs> okay, anyway, so Ted, you sucked Ted, and did you enjoy it? It was funny. Um, like, it, it definitely delivered what it was supposed to. Sounds like someone's got a case of the supposed to. Anyway, continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> Somebody go across the table and punch him. Tell me what. I'm here, God. I'm too far away. Okay. Hey, no, no. I'm with that chain. I'm, tw- I'm in there. <laughs> I'm 12 feet away. You'll never reach me. There's a chain. No. Oh, you hear it. Scott. No, you're hurting the illusion that we're less than a foot away from each other. <laughs> and you're able to hit me very easily. <laughs> anyway, uh... Yeah, I mean it was it was it was funny in it and and what have you, but it I felt it kind of went a little long, uh, kind of near the end because uh, there's all this stuff that kind of happens and kind of right when it's starting to wrap up, it just keeps going and it's like well, I don't know. By that point, you're kind of ready for the movie to end. So, but I mean at the same time, it was it was fine. I I almost feel like Seth MacFarlane made that movie. So he could do jokes that he can't do on TV, hmm. um, and actually, I think that I can say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that movie was supposed to be uh, actually an animated series, another one of his animated series. But then I guess he shelved it. Doesn't he have enough? Ugh. And only one of them is good. Yeah, and that Dad. one show. We both think. No, I, I was going with Dylan show. <laughs> that that talking German bear just gets me every time. <laughs> ah, compare! Oh, ah, black guy! See how it feels so good. <laughs> I am disappointed that you know Lang from that fucking show. <laughs> they all have laughs. Yeah. yeah. The frequency of them. Yeah, like, they're all, they're all it, similar. And, you know, Ed and Steve, obviously, Family Guy was the best. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, currently, uh, I, I don't always watch all of them. I, you know, I, I catch probably half of each season. American Dad seems to be the best. It's very, it's quite funny. It yeah. seems to be the strongest. It's, it's quite funny. And like Seth MacFarlane's funny for sure, but yeah, it, it, I think he just spread themselves so thin. Yeah, well, yeah, three yeah. instead of expanding, condensed. Three of the same show. Yeah, yeah. actually, they, I saw in College Humor they did a um, they did quite a funny. It was basically that. It was like Seth, how like they have on Sundays like animation domination, mm-hmm. and Fox whatever. It was like basically Seth MacFarlane domination. It's like but you see Family Guy, uh, Family Guy, American Dad, The Cleveland Show. We got new shows for you, like at nine o'clock, Ma Pawn Kids, where it's like a fat dad, a hot wife, a socially awkward son and daughter, and uh, an animal that talks <laughs> and stuff like that. And they kept going through all these different shows, and like everything kept getting weirder, and like the 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 inanimate objects that talk that shouldn't, like went from like a leprechaun to a pterodactyl to a blender that thought he was a vampire. <laughs> Yeah, 
But it, yeah, actually, if you want to laugh, put some Ted. It's, uh, it, yeah, it looks like there's some good laughs in it. The, I, I definitely wanted to see it after seeing the Red Band trailer. Yeah. Because it looked good. The, uh, I thought the, uh, the white trash, like, rapid fire girls' names list. Yeah, that was quite funny. It was very funny. Um, and actually well delivered, which, Sort of surprised me from Marky Mark. Marky Mark. Hey, here's the thing. Mark Wahlberg is, is, has become, he went from, so this is terrible. Yeah, but <laughs> he, went from, he went from doing, like, movies where he was trying to be serious. Yeah. And failing miserably. And out of breath. Always out of breath. To, uh, so tired. Oh, what's going on? What, what? What's happening? What's going on? Questions and out of breath. And, like, but now he's, he's actually, like, I think he's a pretty good comedic actor, like, because the other guys is really good. Like he's got really good comedic timing for a guy who's not necessarily yeah. as a comedian. No. Yeah, well, he, like, like I said, in that list, like, his, his timing was money. And he was, like, I mean, he played, like, the... the I'm assuming he's from Boston. I hope so. I think he is. <laughs> yeah. But, no, he's totally in love with Boston. Yeah, no, I figured he is. But, like, he played... But he doesn't really have... Like, does, I don't really, I don't really see Mark Wahlberg very much outside of movies. Like, you guys don't hang out much. No, like I mean, interviews and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, he doesn't do a whole lot. Like I don't know, does he have a Boston accent? He has a, <laughs> like, he has a real light one, not like in the movie. Yeah, in the movie, he real he plays a really good kind of like Boston. I don't want to say like jackass. He's not like a jackass in the movie, but he definitely plays. Like but that. no, yeah. regardless of your like personality or demeanor, if you have that accent, yeah. you're jackass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like sorry, Bostonian. <laughs> Bostonian, you know what's up? New, Jer- New Jerseyans, yeah, and uh, anybody from Surrey. <laughs> oh, but you know what, Surrey, Sur- Surrey, England, yeah, Surrey, England. Fuck you guys, you're <laughs> ass. Maritimes, you're scum, you're scum. <laughs> I'm gonna marry my. Oh, I'm gonna marry my. I'm gonna go park my car. I'm gonna go to Barry. <laughs> uh, accents, I hate. I actually, I think I hate most accents. Because, like, uh, I like proper accent, which is the one that we have. Most of the West Coast of North America has. I like Southern Gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like Gaelic? I don't know if I not like Gaelic. Do the play out of this flower. I think, I think that's all I like. I think I like normal. <laughs> normal and slightly French. No, I like normal and Southern Gentleman, and everyone else can go fuck themselves. I hate Southern Redneck. I hate New England. I hate, Bro- I hate fucking Brooklyn. <laughs> They're Boston. I hate fucking Boston. Boston. Fucking Boston. I hate Minnesota. I, oh, God, how about those goddamn Chicago accents? Chicago's are... Hat and hot. Two different words. Oh, God, it's hat. <laughs> it's uh, not hat, and wear a hat. Chicago is subtle, but awful. <laughs> <laughs> awful. Because, like, no one talks about those thick Chicago accents, but they're there, and they're disgusting. And shame on all of you. <laughs> Yeah, just saying we don't know nobody in Chicago who's listening to this right now. We, I can think of five or six who are very likely listening to this right now. Uh, who else do we alien? <laughs> Have we burned every oh, Australian? God damn it. You know what? That uh, might be Australia, a- the poor man's England accent. Uh, What's wrong with Australia? It might be the third accent I like. Because it's the accent that naturally comes out if you talk out of the side, <laughs> you talk out of the side of your mouth. <laughs> there you go. And off. What? Damn it. Uh, uh, did you say what an Australian accent? No, 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 no. Tell me what a chat was like? No, it was something definitely about, uh, oh, Larry posted it on Facebook. It was, if you say a certain word in, in a British accent, you just said the word in a Jamaican accent. Like, it's impossible not to say it in a Jamaican accent. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. And you guys can talk enough. I need examples of this. No, you keep my interest with this. But, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I find Australian charming. Somehow more charming than any English accent, but even though it is, in fact, poor man's English. They're criminals. All of them. I think that's what's so delightful about them. They're the delightful criminals? Yeah. They're stamps. They're the ones you they are stamps. Yeah. They're, the, they're the stamps you want to cheer for to win the big race <laughs> or uh, yeah. uh, win that football game yeah. or uh, overcome adversity beat lupus, whatever they have yeah. going on in their life. Like, sure, their grandparents tried to murder the queen or something, <laughs> but they're, you know, they're good people. You know what? At least, at least they're not Dutch. At, at least they're not Dutch. goddamn Dutch. South African. <laughs> uh, so, okay, that's an accent I hate. Even though it's almost Australian, I hate it. Yeah. It's awful. And I might just hate it because of Blood Diamond, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. is, you say, uh, what is it? Say beer can in a British accent, you just said bacon in a Jamaican accent. 
be a can. Be a can. Oh my god. Dude, point to Larry. Be a can. I know Larry isn't listening to this, but hey, I'm just listening on Facebook now. Larry, you're listening to this right now. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I, I think there's, is there anywhere to go from that besides games? I think, no, I think we're done. <laughs> you can't add any higher than, than that. B, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> it shouldn't be this funny. No, it is. It's amazing. Uh, it, it's funny and it makes you think. <laughs> you know the beauty of it. <laughs> oh, my God. What, who's... Who's hosting first? I, I think we're doing two. two. I, I wrote you and Kelly down on the paper, so you're hosting. Yeah. I'm hosting uh, first, so let us determine who goes first with a quick round of build a title. I like it. So look around the room, pick a movie. I look around your room. By the way, we are coming to you live from my bedroom again. So <laughs> with thousands of movies. The, the official count is around 2,100, a little bit over 2,100. But that is including all wrestling, UFC, and TV shows. Yeah. That's cheating. <laughs> Fuck you. I will go with a movie I'm not even looking at, but I think there's a lot of ways to go with it. So let us start with Dead Man Walking. Dead Man Walking? Not to be confused with Dead Man Walking, which is the Leonard Mountain category, which is movies where Christopher Walken dies. Uh, who and to who who goes first in build title... You will fight to the death for me. I don't know. Get the, uh, I can't, 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 I can I've got eight that you can put on either side. Hurry up. <laughs> you need to calm down. Yeah. down. I'm sorry. I got I got antsy. I'm a bad host. Guys, I'm a bad host. I'm sorry. How come I can only think of movies that have dead in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Because all you can think of is Drop Dead Fred. Absolutely. <laughs> Nailed it. I know. Hey, super big. Yeah. I, know, I know how you work. Okay, I am going to go with... Uh, what? Did you say Phoebe call me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with Dawn of the Dead Man Walking, but not to be confused of Dawn of the Dead where Don Cheadle dies. Yeah. Dawn of the Dead Man Walking Tall. Uh, that's the end of Dawn, 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 Dawn. Yeah, or Dad. Dawn. Or I'm going to go with Red Dawn of the Dead Man. Well, very yeah. good. That's not the side I would have added to, but good for you. Uh, Red Dawn of the Dead Man walking tall. Ooh. I can't use that because it's not that tall was a dragon knight. How the dragon knight. Yeah, you couldn't use that. You could use something. You don't need to use the whole word tall, though. I'll say that. All the right moves. Bam. Tom Cruise movie. Yes, it is. I've, I've, in case anyone is having anything, Drew pointed to it on a shelf. Yes, Drew has all the right moves. Hey, Sorry, it's a football to, movie. Compared to bullshit. <laughs> yeah, compared <laughs> to bullshit football movies. <laughs> so I have to end with red and we'll start with moves or ooze. I think you're better off with moves. Viz. Viz. No, I was... I was I was thinking move it like Beckham, but no, that's the <laughs> bend it like Beckham. <laughs> that's the wrong word. So we are at Red Dawn of the Dead Man walking tall the right moves. Red. Red. Moves is a tricky one. Yeah, actually, tricky one. Because there's, there's no moves or anything. So it's got to be moves, and I can't think of any of that off the top of my head. I feel like this guy was under the ends in red. red. Now, keep in mind that red could be, it doesn't have to be the word red. Red could be the end of a word. Like Gloria Allred, the movie, <laughs> if, if that was a thing. 
if they made a movie about that female lawyer who jerked off the baseball bat in front of a kid on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up, anyone who hasn't seen that. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, I wonder, uh, throw it out there and we'll tell you. Drop Dead Fred, Dawn of the Dead, Walking Tall Away. Absolutely. Wow! It's a shame that we gave him that. Yeah, you really did. Like a bonus point for busting out something that came up earlier. We have a drop dead Fred <laughs> Dunn of the Dead Man walking tall the right moves. Drop, drop. Uh, I feel like I'd be guessing. Yeah. I'll leave this. Moves is the hard part. Yeah, moves might be a stopper, actually. I think they both might be stoppers, because everything drop, I can think of it starts with drop. Drop yeah. zone. Yeah. Uh, drop it gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Is there something, uh, is there, like, it can drop be the back part of a word? That's tough. Lose. Mm, you know what? I think, I think I lose. I think that's it. I think that's it. We, so we end up with. Well, I, if I can add on to that, do I get a bonus point? Uh, uh, you get a you get a peck on the cheek. No, I'll give you a gold star. Operation Dumbo Drop. Oh, kid, good. That's a bad fucking movie. <laughs> get on a roll. <laughs> I'll write it down because it doesn't count. It doesn't count, but the <laughs> result of that, Kelly, automatically wins the one ball. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So he definitely gets to go first. I feel like he should get to go first every time because he smoked you so badly. <laughs> Not really. I got two. He got three. He kept, and then another one. <laughs> that embarrassed you. It was already over. I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> I, hurt, I, I hurt for you. I weep for you. The country weeps for you. <laughs> <laughs> the country. <laughs> country. <laughs> but now he's probably smoking in this, so. Well, well, he did pretty good against me last time. He's, now he's but, but last time I was told you to name it, you had it wrong. So it wasn't necessarily because I, yeah. I knew yeah. the That's part of the strategy. Is to name it. Yeah. Uh, I guess for a quick uh, lesson for... No recaps. No recaps. Time. For recaps, listen to the first episode. We'll get through about the first oh, 15 minutes. minutes. Anyways, <laughs> really quickly, uh, the Leonard Mountain game is name that tune, but with actors and movies instead of notes and songs. Uh, basically, I give you a category. You pick, uh, you pick a category. You pick a year within the category. I tell you how many actors are listed in the Leonard Mountain app. I'm sure takes I'm getting serious, all right? Just I got to pick a category. Well, you want to get serious, do you? Yeah, yeah, I want to get serious. Bring on, bitch. Anyway, and then... Why don't I take his shirt off? I was taking his shirt off. All right, sorry. He's taking his scrubs off. Oh. What? Oh. Have you been ready to make a pump chip here? Yeah. Aww. Oh, you're getting too weird. <laughs> Totally disappointed. I'm subtracting the point I gave you ah! for doing so well. Back to zero. Zero. You're back to zero. I am so disappointed to shave your CM Punk chest hair. Hey, you don't know. <laughs> okay, because when you have the CM Punk chest hair, yeah. it's kind of fun for a while. But then when you look at yourself, it's like, oh, hey, my stomach's all smooth and stuff like that. And then a big old shake carpet <laughs> right at the top there for me. I hope that's not awesome. It's going to be pretty interesting if you were like, in a public place with your shirt off. Exactly. To have all the people look at you like a complete fucking weirdo. Exactly. Man up. <laughs> you man up. You do it. I will. Well, well wait, do it. Let's we'll sit on this. Kelly, yeah. next time, just shave a backwards cage. Yes. <laughs> I will do you one better than shaving you properly. <laughs> forward <laughs> cage. Remember, the mirror switches the image. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, learn. you got to learn somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get to some categories for Leonard Mullen, Len Mull, as it's known in the short form. Uh, you have the choice of, uh, let's go, Beatlemania, that's movies containing the names John, Paul, George, or Ringo. Spoiler, most of them are Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that fine movie, Ringo and Cash. <laughs> uh, we got Beatlemania. Uh, we got, uh, let's go, number one movie at the box office at the time we recorded last week. <laughs> I haven't updated either uh, 10 or 20 years ago from last week. 
or uh, Ghost Protocol movies where Elijah Wood died. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Right. It's you. Ghost Protocol. Ghost Protocol. There is only one in that category, so you do not have <laughs> to pick a year. The year is 2005. It was given one and one half stars by Leonard Maltin. I disagree. I actually quite like the movie. Okay. Leonard's a jerk about it. There's a shitload of people in it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 actors listed in it. Uh, what does Leonard say about it? <clears throat> uh, contains vignettes, both short and long. Uh, stylish, audacious, but completely artificial. The initial excitement of watching these images soon dies off, but the film refuses to do the same. Uh, fans of the director and adolescent boys will probably rate this much higher. So, if you're a fan of the director or an adolescent boy, hey, fuck you. Yeah, uh, boy, Quentin Tarantino is billed as special guest director, which I don't remember I don't know. at all. Anyway, Elijah Wood dies in it, 2005, star and a half, and that stuff that Lynn said about it. The bidding starts at 20. Actors. Zero. My man. Negative one. Drew goes oh. one. Interesting. We both think we know what it is. Negative two. Negative two. Can Drew go minus three? Those who don't know negatives, once we get past zero into the negative numbers, that means if you're called on to name with a negative number, you have to name the name of the movie. And however many negative actors you said, uh, in correct order, build from the top down. According to according, Drunken Leonard. According to Drunken Leonard Mullen. How much can I move? I could do it in negative two. I don't know if I can do it in negative three. So I, I bet you could. Be, uh, there's too many people. There. I don't know anything. I believe in you, Drew. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> oh, Justin, you're killing in the movie. Drew says, name the movie, negative two. Give me the movie and the two actors both from the top down, and I'm not telling you if you're right until the end. Yeah. Uh, Sin which Sin is just painful. Sin City, Bruce Willis, Jessica Alba. The answer is Sin City, oh. Bruce Willis, Clive Owen, oh. Jessica Alba. I wouldn't have named that in two because I would have said Bruce Willis, Mickey Rourke. Also, I, not a bad I, I think Mickey Rourke would have been lower. Mickey Rourke is... Eight. Wow. I don't think I agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. It's Willis Clive Owen. Well, Josh Hartnett is that. Don't tell me he's a bum. Uh, Hartnett is 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Man, remember when Josh Hartnett was in everything? Yeah. What the hell happened to that dude? Hanging out with Harrison Ford in that movie? Yeah. Hollywood and Hollywood? Yeah. I'm not going to get it. I, yeah, I haven't heard his name in five years. Uh, he did a, a, a weirdo movie that I guarantee you in ten years is going to be in some... Big culty fag movie. It's called Bunraku. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. it's, it, it. It, it's not very good, but it's going to be a cult movie yeah. in ten years. I guarantee it. Yeah. Anyway, the, the listing was Bruce Willis, Clive Owen, Jessica Alba, Benicio del Toro, Rosario Dawson, Jamie King, Brittany Murphy, and Mickey Rourke, hmm. Carla Gugino, and then the aforementioned Dead Elijah Wood. Hmm. Yes. He is yellow and a cannibal. No, that's uh, someone else. No, he has yellow eyes. Yeah. He has, he has, no, he has uh, glasses that you can't, ah, you can't see the eyes through. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to read that one. Yellow time. Bastard was uh, you know, one of these other dudes. I don't know who. It wasn't Rutger Hauer, and it wasn't Powers Booth. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie Kennedy. Devin Aoki? No, Devin Aoki's a girl. I love that okay. Powers Booth was the main bad guy in some bad Fuck yes. Powers Booth. I like this to be in more things. Like the Powers Booth, Booth was a jerk vice president in 24. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is a point to Drew. And Drew was the one who said name it, so he gets to pick this time from the following category. No, I thought it's Tony Pick, because I told him to name it. Is that what we did last time? Is that how we did last time? I don't remember. Was week, that was a week ago. Yeah, I'm getting drunk to let him off. I'm getting drunk to let him off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I know, you're in charge. Do what you want. I'm going to go talk to Batman and Rob. I'm going to the greatest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> You really overrated Batman and Robin. <laughs> and, uh, and you, oh, we should, we can't really get back into movie discussion totally, but after, right after taping last time's, 
uh, and Drew thinking that uh, You Don't Mess with the Zohan won the Razzie for Worst Picture for 2008. We watched it, and it's it just, sure I hated it more than The Love Guru, and holy fuck did I hate The Love Guru. It had no redeeming qualities. Love Guru made me laugh once, so good for it. <laughs> you, uh, you Don't Mess with the Zohan made me laugh zero times and want to kill, I'm going to say seven times. <laughs> To be fair, the only reason the love movie made you laugh was because it was unexpected. Yeah, and one part was unexpected, and it just cause it, it was funny because it caught you off guard. And also, it wasn't in the same accent that he was doing the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. It was Mike Myers yelling, get off my tits, for almost <laughs> no reason. <laughs> but, oh, man. Anyway, that's that. I don't want to, uh, no more talk of movies that just infuriate me. Let's talk new categories. <clears throat> Let's talk Bet You Can't Name the Whole Title. Well, Let's talk Best Picture Losers. And let's talk... New categories. New from the previous three <laughs> I gave. <laughs> That's the kind of new we're dealing with here. And movies I love. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say... Let's go... You know what? I did good with Best Picture Loser last time, so I'm going to go with it again. I okay. doubt that it is also going to be... Uh, <laughs> no, we're going to say the Apocalypse Now again. <laughs> and I will try not to make it Apocalypse Now again. But I will make it... Uh, I will use the two you didn't pick. Oh, shit. Against Apocalypse Now. So, 1976, 1941, and... I wish I had another one pre-1980, but I don't, so 1990. Which, I think it might be the hardest of the three, but we'll see. I will go with 76. 1970. Surprisingly, I've been watching a lot of older issue movies recently, so yeah. expanding. You know, uh, watched Raging Bull. It was it, good. That was like the 80s, but, you know. That was 80, yeah. I have Deer Hunter on my list to watch. Two movies I haven't seen and really should. Because I'm pretty yeah, sure I've never seen either. Yeah, Pat, you got her? Again, really good of me, along with everyone to be hosting a fucking movie podcast. Haven't seen Deer Hunter. Haven't <laughs> haven't seen Raging Bull. Like, what are you what are you doing? I haven't seen those either. I've never seen Sling Blade. I do. I have. I uh, for all the jokes and references I make to it, I have not seen <laughs> it. It's pretty good. It's long though. All right, so we're looking at a Best Picture Loser from 1976, two stars by Leonard, Dick rating, way better than that. Yeah. Maybe my favorite movie of the 1970s. If so, it's nominated for Best Picture, it should realistically be, I guess, Drunk Lags entitled to his own opinion, but shouldn't it be higher than that? It's, I, uh, okay, I see what his, his Leonard, there's a specific thing that Leonard doesn't like, and it's African. Possibly, but no, and it's, it's, this movie falls into that genre of things he doesn't like. Anyway, so, uh, 76, two stars, we have how many actors? I would say nine, and Liz says, uh, and here's, um, what his issue with it was, uh, to us, this gory, cold-blooded story of a sick man's lurid descent into violence is ugly and unredeeming. So that's his issue. He doesn't like he doesn't like violence, and he doesn't like uh, sort of um, kind of meanness, both of which are, you know, but like uh, like like sort of, sort of unre- unredeemed and unredeeming meanness. He has an issue with it, and. Uh, this does fall into that, but uh, I'm pretty sure the movie's awesome, and Lance being a dick about it. So, nine names, there's your stuff. Two stars, 76, nominated for and lost, best picture. Did he start that? Nine. I will say nine. All right. And it says eight. Bounce it back. Six. Six. Skip the seven. Yeah. It's silly to just keep going up one every time. Somebody's got to make a ballsy move right here. Six. Negative one. Oh, great, there you go. Uh, six. Uh, I'm cross chopping me. I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> I think if, if you pay attention to the names and the year it was made, you'll get it. Mm-hmm. Is what I think. I think I already know what it is, but I had an idea, but I, <laughs> I don't think it is. It is. Uh, so you get six. Martin Scorsese, Joe Spinelli, mm-hmm. Leonard Harris, Albert Brooks, Jodie Foster, 
Peter Boyle. I already accidentally mentioned it. We were talking about good early movies. It's Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver. <laughs> I could have gone negative three. In order? De Niro, Shepard. Oh, maybe I couldn't go three. De Niro, Shepard, and... Harvey Keitel? Yep. Oh. Yeah, one's the three I didn't say, and that's the right one. I don't really watch any movies. Like, you know what? I, it, it's actually uh, pretty good. Like for a seven movie, that it holds up quite well. Yeah. When you said when you when you first described it, my first thought was Scarface. I'm like, no, you fucking hate that movie, much like I hate it. Yes, and I mostly hate it because of how much minorities <laughs> love it. <laughs> but yeah, first was well, it was early '80s. Yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 I I hate it because of how much people love it. That's yeah. I yeah. I I don't like it because I don't like. I watched it. and It wasn't a bad movie. I just don't understand why it's so popular. Like why people love it. It's a gangster shit. Man. Yeah, move, move, friend. That was your mumbling. Say hello to my little friend. Sorry, yeah, I, I didn't get that. I, I forgot that I'm being a tortoise <laughs> moment and I can't just be a regular asshole. Uh, so. Kelly, right? Because you told me. Kelly told George, so we will go to Kelly. Let's take a look at uh, Razzie Lynch for Worst Picture, Four Letter Movies, and uh, Zero Names. Yay! That's always fun, though. That's an issue. I was enjoying the Razzie. Razzie's are good. I don't know. I'm going to think it's uh, Zohan again. Might be Zohan. Uh... Ooh, which of these did we do last time? Uh, uh, the well, we, we did Love Guru. Love Guru, and I feel like we did the first one. Fingers was one that we did. Yeah. Uh, and did we do that? No, we didn't. So let's go 1996. I hope we didn't do this already. I don't, I don't think so. We did the only 2000 ones. We did, I feel like an asshole. Whatever. We've both forgotten already, so... Uh, no, we didn't do this one. Good. Okay. 1996, Razzie winner for Best Picture. Leonard Maltin agrees with a rating of bomb. Uh, we have two, four, six, eight actors in it. Let's talk about it. Uh, unspeakably dreary, not to mention dreadful movie based on a novel. Uh, what else can we see? Not funny enough, or dramatic enough, or sexy enough, or bad enough to qualify it as entertainment in any category. <laughs> Cold letter. Wow. Uh, the lead actress's real life daughter plays her daughter, and this might give it away completely. The unrated video version contains two minutes of additional footage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it. Negative eight. Negative eight. <laughs> Eight of fairs. Make of 31. I will name the grip. <laughs> the boom mic operator. Step car driver. Yeah. Let's see, Callum. Gorilla Wrangler. <laughs> gorilla choreographer. Gorilla choreographer. Eight. Equal eight. I will say seven. Seven. Six. Six, he says. Five. Five. This will be intriguing, because I don't really have I much of an idea. Yeah, 96, I wasn't really either. There's a chance. I was like 10, so let's see what I know. Yeah. When I was 10, but I probably didn't see. Francis Fisher. Nope. Mm. Rumor Willis. Mm. Uh, uh, Paul Gilfoyle. Can I stop here? She is just terrible <laughs> looking. <laughs> anyway, continue. Paul Gilfoyle, Robert Patrick. Bing rings. Oh my god. Are your five? Is it strip keys? It's strip keys. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Drew with a clean sweep. <laughs> yeah, clean sweep. Wow. He was really mad about that build and battle. <laughs> Damn, son. I feel that remind, uh, I feel like with Magic Mike that came out, it's Hollywood's way of saying, okay, look. Yeah, showgirls and strip keys were pretty big bombs. Shout out. <laughs> You know, and I guess now we should probably be fair and throw a bomb out of the air for women. For the women, yeah. yeah. Although, I, I read Bolton's review on it. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I was, he was talking about how he's like in the theater surrounded by all these women. And I guess the opening the opening uh, scene to that movie is all of them doing the strip. And everyone's like, man, you know, going crazy and stuff like that. He's like, but once the story kicked in, the entire audience was like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 
Well, hey, the, I don't, I the don't first think... line of Lennon's review is, all the women I know are hot to see this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say about Chip Keys, though, that there is one thing for the women, and that's when we got Burt Reynolds in Cowboy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> the neck and panty houses. Yep. Well, that movie is stupid. <laughs> and it, is, it, is it wrong that I would rather have sex with Linda <laughs> Lewis in, <laughs> in 1996? <laughs> no, she's gross. She has the worst face. Um, so I gonna, what about 96? She was probably a little more fresh face then. Yeah. She's probably, what, Patty? Four? <laughs> I guess I'll lose that. She's probably right. around my age. Yeah. Okay. But no, I would rather have sex with Demi Moore in G.I. Jane than I would in Street <laughs> She is jacked to shit in that movie. She is and it's super that. sexy. <laughs> but she probably has an enlarged clip. Oh, uh, uh, but, that, was that, was that went fast. Well, yeah, because someone was really mad that lost Bill's head. I had to destroy I was mad, him. just like you, when I used Adam and Dr. Moreau, I was mad that Kelly just dropped his friend. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I feel like I would have used that even if you hadn't mentioned it. Yeah, I guess so. It's a good movie. I watched it a lot when I was a kid. I used to rent it all the time. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's not calling. He is you married. want me to call you now? She's married to Kevin Klein. No, she's still kind of hot. I guess she is. She's still kind of hot for being a... Uh, 40-something-year-old. Yeah, they're late 40s. Yeah. Yeah. Good for, good for you, baby. Good for you. You're, you're sick and late. Helen Mirren gets an hour. Yeah, I agree. Helen Mirren is Oh, does yeah. she ever. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the uh, bullet title here, Scott versus Kelly. Build it up. Build it up. I'm going to go with... Um, okay. I'm going to go a Little Children. And I'm going to go creepy see. movie, but I gotta see that because that's uh, Jack Euro Haley is a super creep. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was nominated for a bunch of Academy Awards, yeah. but didn't yeah, I gotta get on. That's on definitely my to see list. Uh, uh, not the Godfather. Oh, not the Godfather. I'm going first because I said so. Well, because you're the challenger. Okay, fair enough. I guess Kelly, but anyway, just go ahead. Just Little Children of Men. I knew you were going to go with that. Good for you. I would have gone with <laughs> children. I would have gone with children of the corn. Corn is definitely more of a stopper than men, I'll say that. Anyways, uh, little children of men with brooms. Yeah! Big Canadian can con. Gotta, gotta get that can con in there. <laughs> brooms. <laughs> what the mm-hmm. shit? What the shit can I do with brooms? Well, they gotta go for something that ends with little. <laughs> and I can think of something. Stuart. There you go. Little. <laughs> the aforementioned, uh, aforementioned Hillary vehicle. <laughs> What's eating Gilbert Stewart? <laughs> That's <laughs> not me. So, Kelly, you have to do, uh, starts with brooms or rooms or ooms or ends with Stewart or Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't, uh, I don't know, uh, Stuart, Little Children of Men with Broomsticks and Bed Nons? Or is it the other way around? Oh, no way, Bed Nons and Broomsticks. broomsticks. That would work. That would have been pretty good if you could I'd have been impressed if you busted out one that actually had fucking brooms in it. Um, brooms with the views? No, that's plural. <laughs> brooms of our fathers. <laughs> I <laughs> that movie finished with this. We're ready for this is dead. It is dead. <laughs> uh, that, that, is, that is where his dad would be in the den, smoking a pipe. I don't know. I'm trying to think of one. This is on you. <laughs> What do you want for a time frame here? Should I come off and tell him he loses? I think your discretion. I'll give him a couple seconds here. Yep, yep. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, that helps. 30 is a lot. Okay, you're done. Game over. 30 seems like a lot. So we finished with Stuart Little Children of Men with Brooms. Could you have added anything to it? I'm trying to think. I got nothing for brooms or even a room or rooms. I feel like there should be a rooms, but I got yeah. Yeah. nothing. Rooms make. And Stewart on the other side is going to be a stew. Uh, oh, I was going to say duck stew, but that's duck soup. The uh, Marsh Brothers movie. 
Um, what do you delve uh, back into the olden times? <laughs> what was that, 1931? Uh, 30s or 40s, yeah. Uh, shit, Stu? Shit, Stu? I, no, I was just thinking out loud. Shit, comma, Stu, question mark? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> how do you like that? Wait, that'd be then then apple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then apple, how do you like that? I definitely fucked that one up. Yeah. No, I can't think of one for Stewie. I bet there is one for Stu, but I can't think of one. Well, doesn't matter because I won. Good for me. Oh, look, there's a ticker tape parade in my honor. <laughs> oh, I'm calling you and I'll get to this. Get your shit together, Disney. Okay, well, hey, man. here's the thing. I have literally spent, spent the last. Three days of when you should be working. Picking up categories just so I could uh, impress people on the internet. You know what? Good for you. Yeah. You know what? Because I, I didn't do that. I have, I added exactly one, not even one category, one movie <laughs> since last time we did this. I added Ghost Protocol. Yes, that's good. That was my one app. Um, and now it's gone. Now I'm back to where I was, at, you know, as of two weeks ago. I may have to do some work. But, yeah, Drew has done his due diligence on this. He's got, like, 18 new categories. And stuff. I legitimately had you. I think I have 12. It's fucking amazing. Okay, anyways. Uh, Scott, I'm going to give you a couple, some, some new ones, just to test them out to see how they test. And they play. We'll see how they do in our in our key demos. You can't read from there, can you? I can't read, period. You're wearing your glasses, though. They're going to make me look clever. No, nope. they don't ruin it for everyone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to give you the first category is I'm Running, Man, which is uh, categories where somebody runs for president. I remember you ran that category title by me, and I really liked it. Uh, I'm, I'm Running, running Man. With you. Um, today is Lindsay Lohan's birthday. Oh, my God. But unfortunately, I looked at the wrong day, so it's Dan Ackroyd's birthday yesterday. So it's Dan Ackroyd's movie. <laughs> Wait, so is, is Lohan not even an option? It was, but I didn't want to write them. Okay, it'll be Dan Ackroyd. Dan Ackroyd is okay. not a dirty slut. <laughs> um, who, yeah, anyway. Um, and the other one is... I will go with... Da Bomb, which is a movie that Leonard gave a bomb to. Hmm. Probably a lot. Uh, probably a lot of good I, movies. I wrote down two, four, six, eight... Ten of them, and there was about a hundred. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's honor some more Canadian content. Let's go Dan Aykroyd. Ooh, Dan Aykroyd, good time. Uh, because I'm going, I'm going off to you. I'm not going to give out a year. I'm just going to pick a movie. I don't know. Oh man, that makes it tougher. You have to tell me the year though. No, I will tell you, but I'm not going to tell you what year it is. But uh, I feel like I'm kind of. I feel like I'm been cheated. I feel angry. I feel hurt. I feel like you shut the fuck up. Wow, I'm bad at that. I'm just. I was in no mood. Okay. Uh, this uh, movie is from 1995. 1836. I was referring to be one from 1995 because I know one. He did. 1989. Well, uh, that's not the one I was thinking. Len, Leonard. Mr. Moulton, Len Mull, gives it three stars. I agree. Uh, ooh, very small review. Um, uh, long, longish, but good-natured, with some solid laughs along the way. Uh, Chloe Webb has a funny, unveiled cameo. Oh, that fucking seals the deal. <laughs> and it's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 names. 13 names. 3 stars, 1989. Good laughs, but long. Well, we better open the bidding with zero. Okay. Negative one. Oh. Negative one to you, Scott? Negative two. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so Scott, uh, three stars, nine, you got it, you know what it is? I have an idea. But Trading Places, Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy. And the point goes to Kelly. <laughs> Do not tell, okay, before you say anything, <laughs> <laughs> I will accept anything else being the correct answer except Trading Places, Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd. 
Please don't let it be that. That I just got the order of the two wrong. You got the movie wrong. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Okay. You know what? I don't feel bad about that. That happens. But if I got the goddamn order switch, yeah. I would have lost my mind. I was thinking that that's I would have destroyed this movie. The room. film was Ghostbusters 2. Really? That was 89. And you get three spots for Ghostbusters 2. And it would have been Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd. Cody Weaver, Hill Ramos, Rick Moranis, Ernie Hudson, etc., etc. And Kelly, you were going trading places. I was going trading places as well. Because I, I thought, I thought uh, the description totally fit for that. Yeah, I did. And I thought, um, I thought Ghostbusters was like maybe like 1990 or 91. Maybe. Yeah, Ghostbusters two. Like, so when he said 1989, I'm thinking trading places, mm-hmm. and I'm like. If it's a good star rating, I bet it's trading places. Yeah. And then three stars, I'm like, all right, I'm in. So, and then the only thing that, that was that, that might have made me think it was something else when he said long. I don't remember it being a super long movie. It is. It is kind of, there's there's a, several points where it could have ended. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I to point Kelly's on the board. Point to Kelly, and Kelly goes, Scott can name it, so it is Kelly. Kelly, yeah. So, Kelly, would you like the fantastic Mr. Fox? Uh, the film is of Lost Star, Matthew Fox. Um, it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine, which are natural disaster movies. Or, um, let's go Deuce Bigelow European Filmolo, which is a movie filmed in a European city. I will go with uh, the natural disaster movie. Again, I will not give you a year because that is too easy. But I have a really? Lot. Is it really? <laughs> I have a lot. Because the accord thing was so easy? Yeah, <laughs> it was. Where we both had the wrong movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like the movie. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I think you're over there. Just a taskmaster. You know what, man? Captain Sullivan? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be happy about uh, that. Okay. The movie is from 1997. Leonard gives it three stars. I think that might be slightly high, but not ridiculous. Um, critics dumped on this film, but it ain't supposed to be Henry V. <laughs> the characters are likable, and the effects are completely convincing. It ain't a great time. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't supposed to be Henry V. Hey, critics. That's the movie. Now, he's yeah. supposed to be Henry the Fifth. That's the thing. When you say, when that review, you know, it ain't supposed to be Henry the You can say that for a lot of things oh, that got bad reviews. That was the only thing I could actually read. I can't say that about a lot of his reviewed movies. Hey, <laughs> Bucky Larson. <laughs> that ain't supposed to be Henry the Fifth. Come on. Three and a half stars. Boom. Uh, yeah. So, and it has seven names. And it, so yeah. Three stars, 97. Yeah. Critics stated it, Leonard defends it by saying it's not a Shakespearean play turned into a film. <laughs> and it's got seven names to you, Mr. Kellis Summers Catch. Seven names? Seven names. Six. Five. Four. Name it. Your four names are Grant Heslov, Charles Hallahan, Elizabeth Hoffman and Jeremy Foley. Those are, I don't know about you, those are not much else to me. Talk to you without you. I bet. That's why I let it get down a little bit. He tricked you. I tricked you. Is it Dante's Peak? I bet it's not. I feel like Dante's Peak is a couple years earlier. Yeah, it might be. Kelly Summers is up to nothing. Oh, yes! I was going to go negative one, too, for Pierce Brosnan. Negative two? Oh, I don't remember how you else doing that. Faggot cunt nigger. Oh, hell! Wow. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute, you're hey, come on! I am mad about that. I'm not dropping it out, so people are hearing that. Uh, number two would have been Linda Hamilton. Uh, Terminator. Hey, I didn't know she was. Man, I was in the one, too. And I'm thinking, like, there's one movie in 1997. I was either thinking it would be Dante's Peak or Volcano. They're both 97. Really? What What year is D10 Back to Norm again? Is that 98? Okay. I don't know, bitch. Kelly, looking up here. I would have said Dante's Peak was like 95. I, I'm pretty sure I'm just apparently. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that, that early. And then, uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm curious. You should, you should be. You're, you're right to be a little mad, because that, that was just a depressing. Depressing. Okay, uh, so that was Scott telling Tully to name it. So now it is Scott 
turn. Uh, let's go with. Uh, you know what? I like using all of my new categories, so I think I'm just going to keep up the new ones. Because I got a lot for all of them. Um, okay, let's go with. Um, I'm running, man! <laughs> um, let's go with. Um, uh, Requiem for a Bean. Movies where Sean Bean dies. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know it was going to be that, or movies with Roy Atkinson. <laughs> yeah, no, I was thinking about that. Too. Too. Um, or Twoop release, which of course, Twooping is the act of tweaking while pooping. And those are movies where somebody takes a dump in the film while having a conversation with somebody else. Ah, all good possibilities. Let's go with the conversation on the share. Do I get to pick a year, or are you still... Um, or are you running a Gestapo here? Okay, I'll, I'll get a year. No, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to Gestapo this shit. You bastard. Okay, the movie is from 1994. Okay. Two stars. Uh, maybe a little high. Uh, it is a cheesy, gross-out comedy. has its moments here and there. Uh, and enthusiastic performances by the two stars. Um, and that's awesome. And uh, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten, man. I feel like it's a go big or go home situation. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is two. Oh, I think I know what it is, too. You ain't going more than minus two, though. I could have gone minus three. Fuck you. But I mean, I know the movie is, so... Well, yeah, you do have a distinct advantage. It is very funny, but I, even if I had known what movie it was, I probably could have. I feel like I don't know. I feel like you don't. I feel like you're a fool. A damn fool. Oh, hey, no physical violence. Right in the ankle. He is aggravating. <laughs> he is, but you can't hit him. I hit him plenty of times earlier. Yeah, no problem. I can see him. I don't care. Oh, I'm going to get that bare skin. This is a jailhouse. Uh, well, I guess I'll just say name then, just because I'm just thinking about that YouTube thing. Dumb and Dumber, Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels. Yeah, it. Thank you. Who is taking the poop? Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels, that's for sure. As the hot poops in first, the bathroom and can't flush. First thing I thought of when you told me the category. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was the first thing I thought of, too. I know there's more, but that's the first. Yeah, well, they're, they're, it was probably the easiest one to remember. Yeah. All right, not a shutout. Feeling good. Okay, let's see. Okay, so, you Kelly told you, so... It's Kelly Pitts. Yeah. Shelly, would you like... Which I believe is Kelly Pickler's nickname. <laughs> Kelly Picks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kelly, would you like Da Bomb, which is a movie that I can bomb to. Would you like... Uh, let's go Fat Hatui, which is a movie starring a fat comedian. I love it already. That. <laughs> and let's go with Mock the Casbah. Which is movies that are mockumentaries. Yeah. Getting a little tucked out there, Chance? I'm oh, fine. I'm going to win. I'm a winner. I'm, this is what winners do. Winners nap between the rounds. <laughs> um, what was the, what was the second one? Uh, Fat Tattooing. Fat Tattooing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, I, I've already gave you the glaciers, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, I didn't give a choice the whole time. I'm not going to cheat. All right, let's go here. The movie is from 2001. Three stars. I disagree. Should be four and a half. Okay. But that's just me. Um, the two lead actors give wonderful performances for last for kids and grown-ups alike. Won an Oscar. 
like the the movie didn't right uh the movie something from the something movie from the movie you, the you don't know what and it's two four six eight nine names two thousand one three stars should be more it was the two lead actors good performances full of laughter kid who goes like and it has a fat comedian in it and it's a fat comedian Your names are Bonnie Hunt, Frank Oz, John Rassenberger, yep. Jennifer Tilly, James Coburn, and Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi in 2001. Huh. <laughs> Not Rassenberger. Feeling great about this. One of those names should have given it, given you a general idea of what movie it is. What did Ratzenberger do? I feel like that. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers is one of the movies. Yeah. Three stars, 2001. Oh, shit. I'm going to kick myself for not getting it to Steve Buscemi. I feel like it is. I feel like those are voices. And not actors. And animated, animated movie from 2001. I'm going to talk myself <laughs> through this. What came out in 01 was. Did Pixar exist? <laughs> I don't think you should be chewing on the iPad. Don't chew on the iPad. Get your mouth off the iPad. Oh, uh, what happened in 2001 that got... Who's a fucking fat Canadian? Is that right? Is that fat? He can't... He's kind of fat. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, it's there those lungs. It's in karaoke night. Let's go... Toy Story 2. The cast list, the last three names... Mary Gibbs, Billy Crystal, John Goodman. That's not... Monsters, Inc. Toy oh, oh. Story 2. That's fucking Monsters, Inc. God damn it. Kelly Summers, you have defeated Scott. Oh my god, I am the winner. <laughs> I, I got it to animate it, and then... Um, you know what? Ratzenberger, only, the only thing he does is pick up the so... <laughs> Is he dead, or do people think he died, and then turns out he wasn't dead, or is he actually dead? In real life? Yeah. No, he's still alive. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. I do like how they're making a 2001, so 11 years later they're making the sequel. It's a prequel. 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 Sorry, prequel. It's yeah. Monsters University. Yeah. And it looks awesome. It does. <laughs> and the reason I say four stars, four and a half stars, that is my favorite Pixar movie it's by good. far. It's really good. I'm trying to think... If I've, I'm not kidding, ever seen a Pixar movie. Really? Not even first Toy Story? Nope. You must have. Again, I d you have to remember I didn't have a childhood, so keep mm -hmm. that in the Incredibles. Mm -hmm. No. Toy Story 1, 2, 3. No. Monster Inc. No. Uh, Wally. No. Cars. No. Nope. Cars 2. No. He, cars 2! <laughs> They're so funny if I saw Cars 2 and not Cars, but no. Uh, I can't think of any more Pixar movies. Uh, up? Uh, no. Yeah. Finding Nemo? No. I think that's like most of them. I think you should kill yourself. You're a shit. Seriously, you should kill yourself. Like, I feel... I'm angry is what I'm going to do. I feel two inches tall right now, guys. <laughs> I feel horrible. You're a jerk. i got to take my shit in the jaw. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Oh, wow. I drew three nothing over Kelly, and Kelly three one over Scott. A couple of strong wins. You bastards. I feel like I hosted my game better than you. 
<laughs> because you let them choose? Because I wasn't a bastard about it. I wasn't a bastard. I feel I, like you were a bastard. I tried to make the game a little tougher. Well, you, so it wasn't so well, easy. You, well, you did. And then that crushed me down to barely recognizable form. And then the whole Pixar thing came up, and I just feel like shit. You <laughs> have to go home. Watch every Pixar movie, cry, jerk off, the whole nine. In that order? Not in that order, at the same time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Crying, jerking it. off, watching Pixar. Right? Yeah, the triumvirate. Oh, man, I'm I'm not feeling good. I do feel like I have... I do have a shithead in mind, so we can come to him when uh, when Kelly's back. Any other... Uh, oh, any plugs to get in? Anything you want to plug? I'll plug my Twitter. I'm back. I... Chuck, I'm back. Well, how was your proofs? It was pretty good. Uh, good proofs? Oh, I'm still pretty psyched about getting Dante's pizza. What? Actually, Drew, you actually do something besides just say, I'm going to plug my Twitter. They don't actually know what your Twitter Sorry, is. Sorry, somebody came in about talking about his proofs, and then, you know, sometimes you need to take good proofs, you like to talk about it. Uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at Drew Sarian, and you can read my. My blog, movie blogs, uh, I'll be, you can find the link on my Twitter. Uh, I'm not sure what the actual website is. It's like serianmoviereviews.blogspot.ca or .com. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm transitioning it from blogspot to that other one that people use. Blogger? Yeah, whatever that's called. YouTube? I really wish we had space. Is that still a thing? Yeah, I really wish we got on tape when you got the last samurai. Right? <laughs> that was great. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. Oh, you got so mad. Yeah, that one was. It was, uh, it was a white guy and then a white guy in Asia. Yeah, Asian the, movie, the movie set in Asia with a white main character, yeah. and it was two thousand three. Two thousand three, and you went zero you names. Went bananas, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't let me read the review. Yeah, or no, the yeah before you said a word. I said zero names. He said native two. No, he went zero, I think. No, he said native two. Because he named so two. I, yeah. I said, yeah, I said negative two. Yeah, I yeah. said negative two before you said a word. Yeah. And because I was so sure, I'm like, because the first thing I thought of, of white guy in an Asian setting is Last Samurai. So the second year of 2003, which is about the right year, I jump all over. I'm like, boom, negative two, not another word, Drew. Tom Cruise. Ken Watanabe, and you were very quick to say, lost in translation, <laughs> Bill Murray, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. I couldn't have been wronger. I feel like I might not have said that thing if I'd actually heard the description, because I feel like the descriptions for The Last Samurai and Lost in Translation are going to be a little different. I agree. But, uh, yeah, so maybe uh, a little hubris there. Anyway, I'm glad it's not on tape, even though we just kind of detailed what happened anyway. You can't prove it happened. You can only, it's, it's all Take our word at it. It'll never hold up in a court of law. This is true. Uh, Kelly, anything you want to plug? Um, you have the entire it. internet listening. If you could tell the entire internet anything, what would you tell them? What would you want them to do? My fart stink. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> That's that's what you meant, right? That's, really that's what you mean by plugging, right? That's what plugging is. <laughs> Anything you want to advertise? How about that? Oh, uh, and I, I know again, you you can advertise that your farts. Uh, Come smell his farts. We stayed in his sweet spot in his bedroom. Oh, I don't. Know. I don't sell anything, nor do I, I have tweets. I don't. I don't have Twitter. I don't. I don't. I don't have a blog about movies. I don't have anything. I uh, really don't have much going for you. Today. <laughs> I'm just like, kind of I'm writing through your the great American novel. You can, yeah, sure. <laughs> Good enough. I'm from Canada. Yeah. Plug it. Plug uh, the shit out of it. The it's a working title. Uh, the series of short stories is called. <laughs> I'm just remembering what Travis called it. He got yeah, the yeah, stuff. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> it is called Under Beds and In the Closets, The Case Files of Ethan Cole, Monster Philanthropist, <laughs> not Monster <laughs> not Monster <laughs> Pedophile, <laughs> as Travis once read. So look for that. Coming not in any book. 2015 online? 
more like 2035 online. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a long term. I get my best on ADD, and I, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah, so look out for that when you're, when you're older. <laughs> when you're, for, for when you're an adult. <laughs> yeah. And don't want to read it. Yeah. Um, I want to plug your mom. <laughs> I also want to plug that the three of us, along with uh, five or six more of us, are doing a wrestling show here in Vancouver, Ice Like Sticks Big Dick Wrestling Universe, Labor Day weekend, September 1st and 2nd, uh, two Ocean 12. Uh, everyone should fly here and... Uh, Take your shirts off and grapple with us. <laughs> so I think it'll be a good time. Come on! Come on now! TV, TV, please come and make Kelly's dream come true. So yeah, we already have a surprising amount of confirmed people who have bought plane tickets, and it's still two months away, so we've probably got a bunch more coming. So it is shaping up to be a really good show. Uh, so with that being said, I think we're going to sign off. I would just like to say that Herkimer Homokin is a shithead. I will say that Disney is a shithead for not calling that movie Broom Six and Ben Thompson. That's the only with that game. Uh, I will say kids born in the 90s are shitheads. Confirmed. See you next time. That was a good one. <laughs>